five things smart people should not do with their free time when they feel stuck. The first one is denying that they're even stuck. Denial is a survival coping skill because if we can act like it's not really happening, then we don't have to deal with it. We can ignore it, avoid it, deny it. And denying is one of the biggest roadblocks to us actually transforming and using what it's there for you for. Because if we feel stuck, there's a reason why we feel stuck. And the gift is it's actually here for you so that you can get unstuck and you can start moving again in a more expanded way and actually grow through it all. And this is such a huge gift for you. Once you can recognize it, it does take a bit of courage and willingness to move through any kind of fears that are creating that denial. And you can access courage at any time. It's a choice. It's a decision. It totally is. And it may take many things happen in your life to finally get to a point where you actually finally say, enough, I'm tired of this. I'm done with this. And then let that courage kick in and that willingness. And then we recommend that you learn a very powerful transformational tool like Psyche. I learned it 14 years ago and I'm forever grateful. At the time I was married and my husband at the time was diagnosed with leukemia. And that's what led me to learn it. I wanted to help him heal. It actually was the biggest gift for me. He was able to heal and with the remission and we're forever grateful. And and this was it. I was in denial about a lot of things and I let that go now. I like to be real. I like to be true to who I am and how I feel and honor that for everyone else. I want to honor that for you. Let yourself be real. Let yourself be true to what you're feeling, what you're thinking and what's happening. One of the biggest gifts you can give yourself. And the second is many people avoid feeling stuck. So they'll actually deny it so much that they actually block off their feelings and block off their emotions. You'll be closing off your heart. And we don't even realize we do this. We do this at a subconscious level of the mind. It's done for survival. And if you can recognize that you're not letting yourself feel it because you're smart enough to do that, you can actually recognize that. If you are, then you can ask some key questions for yourself to help yourself start to unlock and make the changes. And what you're doing is literally opening up your heart more, connecting into your heart, into your body, into your true essence of who you are. And that's going to help you with your gateway massively. And using a tool like Psyche can help greatly, fast, simple, and effectively, which is flipping awesome. The third one is keeping busy and staying distracted. These are things we don't recommend doing because it's going to just keep you blocked. It'll keep you stuck even more and even longer because you're not addressing how you're feeling or what's really going on. And it's a very easy way to avoid how you're feeling and what's really going on. But yet it doesn't solve anything. It doesn't help you become unstuck anymore or help you actually get to the positive experiences that your heart may be actually greatly desiring and wanting. So recognize it, notice it. That's the huge part. Begin working within yourself to make those changes so that you can slow down. You can start saying no. You can become more focused in just one, two, or three things that your heart desires and wants instead of being distracted by a lot of things or overdoing, overworking, staying busy, and slow down and enjoy your life. Life is here meant to be enjoyed. It's meant to be experienced, and you're meant to experience it in a beautiful, good way. And you can. And we are here to help assist you with that. There's many of us here that are doing it for our own selves. And we are helping so many more. And it's time. So say yes to yourself. The fourth one is that many people will put it under the rug. And this is what we don't recommend doing either. Catch yourself if you're doing that with your free time. Thinking that that's how you're going to get unstuck is just by not dealing with it. Just by putting it under the rug. Because it actually is no. It's only going to get bigger. Kind of like the elephant in the room in a way. So instead, have the courage and the willingness to address what's true, address what you're feeling, address what's happening, and begin to use language. You can say, I'm feeling this, or I'm noticing this, or I'm curious about this. Or you can even say, I imagine. If I could really talk about this, how that could be. These are ways to help you connect deeply with others and yourself and help you with the positive changes that are here for you. Because that's what this is all about, is moving into the positive, new, beautiful ways for you to be living if you so choose. And many of us are finally saying yes, which is so awesome. The fifth thing is judging themselves, being critical with themselves, thinking something's wrong with themselves. And this is a common thing that many of us do. I was fantastic at it. It was almost hilarious, but also rough and hard. And I'm like, I still am amazed by how hard I was on myself for so many years. And I'm not anymore. And it's such a gift. I'm so grateful now. I'm so grateful to live in gratitude and appreciation and love, moving through forgiveness within yourself at the subconscious level of the mind, especially using Psyche has been the massive transformation for me and for hundreds of others that I have helped. Letting go and opening up our heart again and feeling again 
and firing that judge within you or that critical one and, and become the observer and notice that and say, no, how about I start talking good to myself now? How about I just start noticing the good, sharing the good? This is what we're called to do. You are very smart. You are very wise. Your heart has the answer within you. Connect in with your heart. Check my information below so you can learn more if you'd love to have a private session with me or come learn this tool for yourself. You can actually learn to use it for yourself. This is here for you. You have the courage and the willingness and you're ready for these positive changes. And we welcome you. Aho!